Welcome to the world of ants. Today we talk about the mighty Formicarufa, the red wood ant. You can find the iconic domes of the species in the forests and woods of Europe going from Spain to Russia. This time, let's start with a quick description of the species. It's very hard to distinguish Formica rufa from Formica polyctana. They both have a bicolored reddish or brownish and black body, they have a black triangle shaped mark on the head and an extra faded black mark on the upper part of their thorax. Their waist, which we call petiole, has only one section. The tiny hairs that we can see here are actually very important. It's the most efficient way to distinguish rufa from polyctana as polyctana is almost hairless. Formica rufa, like other wood ants, build impressive nests that are shaped like domes. Their ant hills are quite visible. You can find them in a clearing or at the edge of a forest, where conifers are mixed with broad-leafed trees. They look like small hills made of spruce and pine twigs. In some nests, rufa ants add small branches and grass or any type of hay. Look at this one. She tries to bring the small stick inside the ant hill. Probably because something needs to be repaired, She's going to manage eventually, but right now she has trouble finding the right angle. This one tries to help her sister, but she's making everything way more complicated. This colony here is relatively young. A few months later, the ants have already created a small mound near the entrances. Give it a few seasons and it would look just like this one, the mound covering the whole tree stump. If the tree stump and its roots form the anthill's skeleton, the layer of twigs serves as its skin and the tunnels as its organs. A nest of a mature size like this one holds more than 100,000 ants living underground in a complicated tunnel and chamber system. The dome is mainly made for regulating the temperature inside the anthill. The eggs, larvae and pupae are moved from one chamber to another according to the required temperature. On the dome surface, the entrance points are heavily guarded. When it rains or night falls, the entrances are blocked to prevent the cold or water from ruining the nest. In some areas, big nests are often destroyed by human activities, boars or other threats. In response to that, Formica rufa ants build smaller and more flat looking nests shaped like a disc. When you come across a Formica rufa nest, you quickly realize that they are quite aggressive towards intruders. But the aggression doesn't last long. When ants realize that you are not a threat, they let you be. Formica rufa shows the same behavior with about 22 other species of animals defined as myrmecophile. What is a myrmecophile species? They are animals who rely on ants for at least one aspect of their life cycle. In addition, more than 70 species live peacefully and close to their nest without trouble. That includes a large amount of coleoptera and even bees. Look at these black insects here. They are literally mating at the gates of the anthill. The rufa ant seems to tolerate them, even though the intruders seem to move cautiously. Ants have to work hard to keep the anthill a comfortable place. From spring to fall, the anthill has to remain between 25 and 30 degrees Celsius. The sun helps warming the anthill, but when the temperature climbs, the ants must take action. Remember the entrance of the anthill? Some are actually more ventilation corridors than proper paths. They are designed to expel excess heat from the anthill and can be opened or closed at will. In October, when the temperatures are falling, ants have to be ready. They prepare the nest for winter, fixing the dome to be sure it is insulated, bringing the last brood deep underground. If some ants, like Mesobarbaros ants, are able to stock seeds for the winter, the only way for Rufa ants to store food is inside their own body. They then reduce their energy consumption for months. When everyone is hibernating, the queen stops laying eggs and the whole anthill waits for warmer weather to come back to life. In 
In spring, the first ants to wake up go to the surface and accumulate warmth in their body. Then they go down to propagate the heat within the nest like a small heat cell. Ants need to forage as quickly as possible. Frost, snow or rain did some damage to the dome. The repairs can't wait as the queen starts laying eggs again. Soon the larvae and the pupae are going to need the warmth generated by the dome to grow. Every year, Formica rufa ants carry approximately 1.6 kg of construction materials. This doesn't sound like much at first, but put it this way. 1.6 kg is no less than 400,000 twigs and pine needles. But these are relative numbers. Ants can carry up to 40 times their own weight. Imagine, for a human, it's the equivalent of being able to lift 2.5 tons. The weight of a hippo. The redwood ants also scavenge dead insects or hunt them alive. They are actually great arthropod hunters. Depending on the size of the colony, they can collect 100 grams to 30 kilograms of insect meat a year. For a giant nest, that represents millions of insects. Proteins represent 40% of their diet. They are mainly served to larvae and queens. Formica rufa, like all the other ants, create chemical landmarks with their pheromones. These help them to create something like a highway, leading to major sources of food or material they need. Following these tracks, we can try to better understand an ant's life. For example, these Formica rufa ants are climbing trees, but what are they doing up there? They definitely don't hunt on the treetops, because they come down with empty mandibles. We first thought that they raise aphids on top of the trees, but those are rare on these pine trees. It's possible that they collect resin to reinforce the nest. In addition to being an efficient mortar, the pine tree resin has antibacterial and antifungal properties. Pheromone marks are also used to remember the path leading to aphid gardens, where they go to collect the precious honeydew from their cattle. Honeydew represents the majority of Rufa's diet. When the hunting possibilities are limited, it sometimes becomes the sole nutrient source. With aphids, Formica Rufa develop a relationship of mutual benefits called mutualism. The same principle we talked about in our previous episode about Lasius niger. They feed from aphids and protect them against predators such as ladybugs. It sometimes happens that an ant can eventually bring an aphid inside the antil to be thrown to the larvae as food. Well, we can see that mutualism sometimes has its limits. In order to collect honeydew, they gently tap the aphid with their antennas to stimulate the honeydew secretion. A big nest can consume up to 500 kilograms of honeydew per year. Such gluttony! You probably already know that Formica rufa ants are able to secrete formic acid to repel their enemies. This weapon is used against other ants or large predators like birds. Birds, though, use this acid bath to clean their feathers from mites and other parasites. Very clever. The biggest non-human threat to Formica rufa are other ant species. If they occupy the same ecological niche, they fight for resources, spaces and control over aphid herds. Spiders, mites and predatory insects are threats for some individuals, but won't be a serious menace for the collective. Look though what mites can do to a single ant like this poor Camponotus nicoborensis. Vertebrate animals such as boars, birds or badgers are all threats to the nest. They usually attack the nest to try to get to the larvae. The attack in itself isn't that problematic, but if this is closely followed by other natural disasters like heavy rain, the nest can get flooded. As much as other animals are a threat to these ant colonies, let's face it, humans are by far the biggest threat to ant survival. By diminishing the surface area covered by woods and forests through deforestation, as well as the disappearance of natural soil and habitat, we are bringing the rufa species closer to extinction. The high frequency of wildfires in pine forests increase that risk. Formica rufa counts as one of the most iconic ant species. Their dome-like anthills are impressive and prominently visible. It's a shame, though, that their importance in our ecosystems is not as visible. So, next time you see one of their domes, protect it and let your friends know of their importance. Thank you for watching. 
subscribe to our channel to stay tuned and hit the bell to be sure not to miss our next films. And let us know in the comments if you have any suggestions for future videos.